Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates and videos. So in this session, we are going to see how to use the upcounter in CX Programmer. So let's take uh, instruction and go for detail, find instruction and uh, there you can find counter. So CNT, this is our counter. CNT counter. Let's take that and it is asking for counter number and uh, the remaining variables. So I'm giving the counter number as C0. Okay, In, uh, you can no need of C, you can give directly C and give OK. So once you have given, you need to set the value. So how much count you want to make? So let's take uh, the example. The parcel have to, uh, you know, move in a conveyor, no? So, you will be having a sensor. So, let, let's add one sensor here. Sensor. So, whenever the sensor is giving an input, the counter has to increment. So, let's take how much uh, count we can do. Let's take 5. If once the 5 parcel... Uh, crossed I have to turn on alarm so hash just type hash and 5 that's it so like this only you have to give the set value so for every 5 count it will give the you know signal so that signal how you can take means that feedback from the counter you can take with same normal what how we can take it for the timer same like you can give you need to give the timer, I mean, sorry, uh, counter's uh, address and you have to give as normally open contact. So, when this uh, contact will turn on, whenever the 5 value is reached, it will be on. So, I am going to turn on one alarm bit or buzzer bit. Let us take as a buzzer output. Alright, so now if you see the counter, we have one more input here. So, what does that input mean? That is for the reset. So, counter is having the reset input. So, all counters will get reset to start from beginning. See, after 5 count, what will happen? The counter output will be in on condition only. Correct. So, counter once the output is on means it will be on only. So, how you are going to turn off? So, you have to reset the counter. So, let us compile. So, let us go online. So, there is a 5 count. Right. So, let us uh, the conveyor is on. Imagine the conveyor is on and one parcel is going to cross. So, I am turning on one input which imagine this is a sensor. The sensor is giving one input. So, let us see the counter its value is reduced to 4. So, for it was 5 now it is 4. So, turn off it. So, again one parcel comes. It is turning on. So, one more parcel. So, three parcel has crossed. Okay. So, now the fourth one. So, now the fifth one. The fifth one is going to cross. So, once the fifth one is crossed, you can see the output is on. The counter's output is on. Look, the buzzer output is on. So, it will be like an indication. Right. So now what happens if the sixth parcel comes? Nothing is happening. See, it is not at all taking. Because once the limit is reached, you know, so the counter will not respond to your sensor. See, I'm again I'm turning on, nothing is happening. So what do you have to do? You have to reset the counter. So you have to reset it. Reset. 
So that's it. Once you have pressed the reset, it will same as the previous, like the fresh one. Again, you have to start. So second parcel is happening. It's crossed. Okay. So now, uh, some cases you want to start from beginning. So you have to start from beginning. You don't want uh, uh, the two parcel as a count. So you have to start from the beginning. Means you can make use of the reset bit to start fresh. That's it. So in between, if you want to reset that uh, you know counter, you can make use of the reset bit. I hope you have understand this uh, counter concept. I'll meet you in the next session with up down counter concept. So before. Uh, you know, winding up, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.